Hello all. It's been a while. Uh, summertime's over, so kids are back in school, and I could get back to you know making videos and doing the things that I enjoy most. So today's video is going to talk about the thinking and logic that I have for what AAs that I want to um, get at the beginning when I'm playing a new character or new ones come out and the ones specifically for the bards that I use because one of the users that you know watch the videos asked for one so here we go okay so the first thing and it doesn't matter what class you're thinking but you gotta ask yourself for However I'm playing, whether it be support, tank, healing, DPS, whatever, am I living? And if the answer is no, then the first AAs you want to get are going to be things that could make you live longer. So obviously, like if you're a tank class, you're going to want to do that more because you're going to be getting hit more. If you're a DPS class and you happen to be dying more, then obviously you're going to want to look into that. If you're not dying um, as much, then it won't be as critical because the main thing here is if you're dead, it doesn't matter what class you're playing. You can't die you you'll be um, not doing your jobs basically so in the a window what you want to look at is if you are having trouble staying alive for whatever reasons I'm a big believer of passive AAs basically abilities that give you stats without having to push any buttons so if you look in the lower left there's a drop down window, can activate, passive, select passive. So now it will filter in the A windows regardless of whatever tab you pick. It will show only the passive A's for the class. So, and this is for whether you're a raider or group player. I like the hit point ones first. A passive ability can increase your maximum hit points, which is general sturdiness and natural ability. This is great because if you're getting hit, you have more hit points. If you're getting hit by an area effect nuke or area effect dot or something, you have more hit points and an opportunity to get healed and survive. If you happen to be getting melee damage hit on you, then you're gonna gonna go want the uh, stability and agility and certain classes have their own defensive stuff as well and you can look into that but at bare minimal uh, for survival sake I strongly suggest the sturdiness the natural durability um, those two at minimal and then possibly the stability and agility if you find that you are dying from melee hits now, talking about DPS and all those things, again, the same concept that I like is the passive ones first, because you have, I guess you could categorize it as you have your sustained DPS as well as your burst DPS. Burst DPS is the tendency when you start hitting buttons and then you do, you know, percentage base or bonus base more damage. But that's kind of directly related to what your passive sustain is. So, for example, simple numbers. If you're swinging a weapon, you do 10 damage. And then your uh, burst button makes you do 2 times damage. So then you'll be doing 20. Now, if you were to raise your sustain to 50, and then you hit the same button, then you'll be doing 100. So... If you're looking to do more DPS and everything like that, I would say work on the sustained stuff first, which are the passive things. For if you're a caster or healer or things like that, I like the focus tab first. It's, this is only if you are like playing live and you're doing the latest expansion. Reason why the focus tab is important 
is that it will only work if you increase it like for the current spells or disciplines so for bards for example if you wanted to use the latest insults you need to have at least rank 11 of 12 or 12 of 12 to work with the latest one which is like the song Rams insult i believe or something like that uh yeah and then again with the bard specifically you'd want to get like the dot one which is improved chance this way it works on everything you want to get think the logic of the best bang for the buck so to speak so which aas are going to impact multiple skills as well as you know improving your dps rather than one specific so going now to talking about bard specifically um increasing dps because that's what the guy wanted to talk about i like dots on the bards um the damage on them is pretty substantial so whenever i make a new bard or helping a new bard i suggest doing chance maxing that out it is a bit of legwork um but it's definitely worth the time then the next one after the chance there's going to be destructive cascade which is in the arch type this is going to increase the dot damage as well so you see these two uh, AAs are going to basically focus four different songs. So it, it's good value. Then it's a bit costly. And this is the question is if you raid and group a lot. If you do raid or group a lot, I would suggest doing the synergy. Reason why is that your insults are going to increase the ADPS of the group by substantial amounts. Again, read the level and the songs that adjust to it. So if you're lower level, you may need to use lower level insults for it to work. So if you're like 10 of 14, then you might need to use like the TOV maybe? I don't have it in front of me, but basically read the synergy description it will tell you what insults to use and then as you increase the synergy then you can upgrade your insults that you use that's super super important the next thing for sustained dps which are still talking about the passive a's are going to be like the melee things the ambidextrous the, the burst of power things like that with your weapons Once you have a decent amount of your passive sustain, then we talk about the burst stuff, which are the button pressing, things like that. If we're talking for personal DPS, not like support or a DPS, things like that, the important buttons are going to be like the Vainglorious Shouts and the Boastful Bellows. What these do, if you're unfamiliar with them, is if you click the button, the Vangler Shout will do like a cone attack and do initial damage, and then it will tick off and then do even more damage. So for example, here I'm in the combat dummy, it hits it, it this will be in 18 seconds, let's say, because of the tick timer. Once this fades, it will do additional damage. Increasing the AA will obviously increase the initial damage and the later output damage. Now one thing kind of cool, and this eats a lot of endurance, so just keep that in mind. You hit Boastful Bells or Vainglorious Shout. You see how it shares the timer. This one goes taking off. It takes 18 seconds regardless of whichever one you use. You could hit the other one, so Vainglorious. You'll see that now they're both ticking, and that's going to maximize your personal DPS for as far as the shouts or the bellows is concerned. And it's basically clicking one and then hitting the other, waiting till the other refresh. It's great in group content. In raid, you want to be careful using anything that's AE 
because you might break mez, pull aggro, insert whatever reasons. Be mindful if you're using that in raid setting. And then going back. So that's for personal ones for the like shouts and thank glorious. Um, now going to the class here. Important ones, Fear Psy, Spire will come if you have like the hero characters and whatnot. Making sure Quick Time is updated, uh, Frenzy Kicks, Flurry of Notes, Dance of Blades. I would say those are the most important when you're looking to burn. Obviously, Funeral Dirge is tremendous. Um, whether you group or raid, this should always be used during burn times. This does not stack with other bards, so make sure you guys time it out and don't override each other's. They recently changed it about two months ago, where Funeral Dirge is finally better than the Shadow Knight version. So make sure that you get that for as far as class is concerned. Um, for Arch type, eh, nothing really there. So that's basically it, like the logic and thinking versus are you living? Then the next thing is improving your sustain. So if like you're a healer, you want to get your passive healer stuff first. If you're a caster, you want to get your nukes or your dot focuses up first. If you're a tank, you want to get your defensive, you know, survival AAs, uh, passive stuff first. And then you can work on your burst, your, you know, your immediate boost AA buttons like that. So that's what I would suggest initially for bards. Um, obviously, getting in them all at the end is the best. But in the beginning, I would suggest those. Oh, one other thing really quick to touch back with going with bards and DPS and things like that. Reason why I like the dots first, in all things serious, the bards only really need to sing three things no matter what group or our playstyle you're in. At least in my opinion. I'm sure other people will argue this, but the aura, which is going to be basically one song that increases your group DPS by like 25%, which is kind of silly, like one thing the area and war march those things seem to have the most significant boost and then anything else as far as adps is kind of like gravy and what i call it. it like it does add things but it's not as much as these three would um to just give you an example assuming all things equal if a bard is playing these three things and four dots, it would yield more DPS total than singing like some of the ADPS things. Again, this depends on your group. If your group is really solid and doing their things, then the gap is going to be a little bit different. But I would say for your typical casual average group, the four dots is going to yield more total DPS. Now, some of the exceptions may be for like long fights, um, things like that. You may want to switch some things out for more sustained, um, some more mana songs, or if your group is dying, then obviously some, some more survival songs. But DPS-wise, these three and the four dots, why I like those dot AAs to come out first. All right, so hopefully this is useful, and I should be pumping out more videos and things like that um, now that... that you know, summer's over and everything like that. So I appreciate everyone's support and, you know, keep the questions and comments coming and, you know, we'll all get better together. Thanks, everybody. Have a great one.